Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Restream Studio to broadcast to a plethora of different destinations, bring in guests, highlight comments on the screen, put videos and graphics on as well. I think we need to get on with it. Hello, my name is Ian Anderson Gray from the Confident Live Marketing Academy. Restream Studio is a web based live video streaming tool, which is part of Restream. Restream has lots of different tools for live streamers, including the ability to multi stream, a scheduler, a chat feature analytics and more. One cool thing with Restream is there is a free plan. So if you want to dip your little toe in and play around with it, you can. And actually, it's really, really generous what they give you. But there are some paid plans as well. And if you want to sign up and have a play, the link is in the description. It's iag.me forward slash Restream. That is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase it, I'll get a little cut. And that, of course, that will support this channel. So thank you. Now, depending on when you watch this video, some of the features may look a little bit different, but hopefully not too much so. When you log in for the first time, you'll be on the destinations view. This is the list of all the places that you can go live to. Now, obviously, I've set this up in advance, but if you want to add your own channels, you just click on add channel. This is the first thing that you'll need to do. You can connect with loads of different places like Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitter, LinkedIn, Mixcloud, and more. I'm not going to cover how you add those channels in this video, but you can see another video I've created up there. Now you have a choice. Do you want to go live right now or do you want to schedule a live video for later? If you want to schedule for later, you go to events on the left hand menu and then you can create an event. We're going to choose Restream Studio, although know that you can use a third party tool like Ecamm Live or OBS Studio if you're feeling fancy. Then you put in your title. Then you put the date and time you want this to be scheduled out on. Note with Facebook and LinkedIn Live, you can only schedule up to a week in advance. You then got the option to upload a thumbnail image. I highly recommend this. Make sure you set it at 1920 times 1080 for optimal results. I'm going to reuse one I made earlier. Let's click next. Then just choose which destinations you want to go live to. I'm going to click on Twitter, click on create event. And then I'm done. And if you want to have a guest on your show, all you need to do is copy this link here and give them it and then they can come onto your show really easily. Your guest also has the ability to broadcast this to their channels if you have pairs switched on. And if you want to know a little bit more about Restream pairs, it's really exciting. Just click on this video here. So when you're ready to go live, you just click on enter studio and you can enter the studio. But I want to show you how you can go live straight away with Restream Studio. If you don't want to schedule an event in the future, instead of clicking events, you just click on live studio on the left. So we're entering the studio. You have the option to set your camera and your microphone. You can mute yourself by clicking the microphone button or M shortcut or the camera, you can click on V for that. But let's click on the cog. Loads of options here. I can choose which camera I want. So I could choose my main camera or my Logitech C920 camera. Depending on which plan you have here, you'll have different options. On some of the more expensive plans, you have full high definition. Otherwise, you can just do high definition of 720p. And normally you want the camera set the way it is, but if that does your head in, you can mirror the camera like that, which is kind of how I look. You'll also want to set the audio input as well. So this is your microphone. Just choose which microphone you want. And you can always test the levels by looking at the meter there. Audio output, that's where you want the sound to go. So that will either be your headphones or your speakers. If you're wearing headphones, you don't need to worry about echo cancellation. But if you're not wearing headphones, I do recommend wearing headphones. But if you're not, then you want to click on echo cancellation. That will just get rid of any potential echo on there. And noise suppression will just get rid of any background noise that you might have going on. Some of the advanced settings, if you're a musician or music's really important to you, you can switch on stereo input. And for podcasters especially, you might want to click on high resolution audio and auto gain control basically just make sure you're not going to be too high or too low. Green screen, I'm not going to cover that now. I've got another video on how you use green screen in Restream. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Green screen, Restream. Say that a few times. And do check out the shortcuts. These are quick and easy shortcuts to do lots of different things in Restream Studio. And you can even connect this with your Stream Deck. Good idea putting your name in there, particularly if you have lots of guests on the show. Let's join the stream.
Now, don't worry, you're not live yet. I'm not going live anywhere. Haven't chosen any destinations, but now we're in Restream Studio. This is the live window here. So this is what everyone will see watching your stream. And on the left-hand side, we've got the thumbnails of you and your guests. So if you have guests on your show, you'll be able to see them here and any other sources that you have, which I'll come on to in a minute. You can check and uncheck what you want on the screen just by clicking on the blue radio button at the top. And if you want to invite guests, you can just click on the invite guests button. This will give you the link that you give out to your guests. And of course, you can use Restream Pairs with that as well. If you don't want that, you just uncheck it. So let's go over to the right hand menu here. We've got chat, captions and graphics. And if you have a number of different shows that you want to use with Restream Studio, you can create brand folders. So I've got a number of different shows that I do. I'm on the Winning With Live video, but I could click a new brand and within each show you got can have different colors, different graphics. It's really, really cool. So there are different themes. You can have the default and news and rounded, and I'll show you those different ones in a minute. And I put in my brand colors there. You've even got a handy color picker here. So if you want to change it to the color of my shirt, you can. Logo is the logo on the top right of your screen. So the default one will look like this. Let's get my finger right. <laughs> or you can use your custom one as well. You then got loads of options for overlays, fancy holiday one there. And if, if you want to cover the whole screen, you can. That's quite useful at the beginning of a show. If you want to start off with your thumbnail, you can do it that way. You can also use lots of video clips, either add your own or use some of the ones built in to restream. Got some countdowns. And you can even add your own. Backgrounds are videos or images that will be underneath your video. Now, at the moment, if I click on any of these, you won't be able to see them because my video is full screen. But if I click on one of the other layouts at the bottom here, let's click on Cinema View, you should then be able to see the background. Restream has some cool video backgrounds at the top, and you can see this with the little video icon there, or you've got some static images. And of course, you can upload your own image there as well. Now, captions are titles that you can add to break up your show and to basically demonstrate what you're doing on screen. So it could be a link like that, or it could be your name. And by the way, if you go to graphics again, you can tweak these, the how they look. So I quite like the news theme, which will look like that. And if you want to add more, then you just go down to the bottom and enter your primary text and your secondary text. Once you've added it, you can just then click on show to display it on the screen. You can also move these to reorder them. So if you want that at the beginning, I can just move that, drag that up to the top. And of course you can edit and remove these captions. The chat feature in Restream is really cool. With Restream, you can broadcast to lots of different places all at the same time. And the comments from all your viewers across all those different destinations will appear in this stream here. You'll then be able to add them onto the screen just by clicking the show. This is a, just a test one. And again, if you want to change the way they look, you just go to the theme and they'll appear here. Now, if you want a chat overlay, this will show all the comments as they come through in real time. Just click on chat overlay and then they will appear there on the right hand side. Now we're not done yet. There's loads more to show you. If you want to share your screen, you just click on the share screen button at the bottom and you've got the option of sharing your entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab if you're on Google Chrome. And the advantage with using Chrome tab is that you can also share audio as well. So if you're trying to play a video on YouTube or something like that, just click on share tab audio at the bottom. I'm gonna share this dashboard from Restream here. So this has appeared in the sources tab over here on the left. I'm not sharing my screen yet. You do need to remember to click on this button here. I've got myself picture in picture on the right and my screen is there on the left. Got loads of different options here. I can change it so that it's split screen like that, which looks a bit weird. That's a picture in picture view. That's cinema view at the bottom, or I could do thumbnail at the right, which is the default. If I want to maximize my screen and I don't need myself, then I can also click on maximize on the left hand side. Now let's invite a guest. So I can click on the guest button on the bottom there and copy that link and send that to my guest. Now, because I don't have any friends, I'm going to just invite myself in. All your guest needs to do is allow their camera and microphone, enter their name, and then they'll be in the green room. So they'll be able to see what you see on the screen. Now, on your end as the host, your guests will appear on the left-hand side and you'll hear a little audio notification. Let's bring myself onto the stream. I'm going to sh stop sharing the screen first and then I'm going to bring my other camera in. So that's split screen at the moment, but we've got lots of different options there. I can... We could do it like that, which I quite like if you have a guest. That's split screen, and you can do that as well. 
I'm sharing my screen again. We can both be at the bottom there. There are loads of different options here. Now, if you want to adjust your guests volume, you've got a little handy slider here on the left hand side once you have them on the screen. And if you want to mute them, you can just click on the mute button. If you want to have your guest full screen, you just click on the maximize button. And of course, you can just toggle that off. Now we can add a source as well. Some of these are only available on the higher plans with Restream, but we can add a local video. So this is not uploading a video. This is a video actually on your computer that you can play directly into Restream Studio. RTMP source, so there might be somebody streaming from OBS Studio or Ecamm Live. And all you need to do there is grab the stream key and URL and they can stream directly into Restream Studio. And you can add some background music for a bit of chill. Now at the moment, we're not going live anywhere. If you want to go live or if you want to record this, you need to click on the destinations list on the top. Now, if this is a scheduled event, then you'll already have the destinations listed there and you can just click on go live. Let's click on the destinations. And this is a very similar thing to what I showed you before. And um, I can go to YouTube. I don't want everyone to see this. So I'm going to change this to, it's already unlisted, which is great. Click close and then I can go live. Got a little countdown. And I'm live. So you do your live broadcast and then once you're finished, you can click on end stream. And of course, during this, if you want to play any videos, I can show intro. You can just click on the video clips there. Oh, look, I've got a chat message. Somebody's left a message. So I can see that they've left that message from YouTube. They're watching on YouTube. I can highlight that on the screen. And I've also got some other options. I can click on the three dots. I can reply to them directly or I can block them in Restream chat. So I'm gonna click on end stream and the broadcast has ended. So that is an introduction to using Restream Studio. I'd love to know what you think about that. Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna take Restream for a test drive, just go to iag.me forward slash Restream. Do subscribe to this channel, do like this video. This helps me grow and reach more people. And of course, I'd love to help you and support you more. So let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me. But until next time, toodaloo.